Hey everyone, in this video we are starting with Supabase, one of the best open source alternative to Firebase. Supabase gives you everything you need for a backend, just like authentication, real-time database, storage, serverless function, all built on powerful PostgreSQL. So why you need to choose Supabase instead of popular Firebase? Recently, Firebase started charging for things like background function, storage, analytics, and it also adds the limit on its popular features. This make it a bit harder for beginner or slow developer to explore and build freely. Supabase on other hand offer a free plan perfect to learning and even small production app as well as your last project. And the best part is it's just a powerful and easy to use. So if you are looking for a modern scalable and free backend for your Flutter app and some other app, Supabase is a great choice. Today's video is your first step into a Supabase. Let's get started. This is our brand new Flutter project where we have test our sample Supabase project and try to run it. Next, go to your favorite browser and search the Supabase. And the first link of the official Supabase website, go to there. And before that, I have already logged in. You need to create your account. Just continue with Google. That's it. After you have successfully created the account and logged in, then you will dive here and just start your project. This is the dashboard of the Supabase where you can create your new project. Just click here, new project here and the give the name my first project. I'll make it personal. This is the free plan. Create organization. This is the organization name and I'll give the project name is a sample project and I'll generate the strong password here and I'll select the region Singapore. It is faster as compared to other region and next create the new project. Project is on the way to setting up. Sometime it take 2-3 minutes if the internet connection is slow. Yeah, everything is set up. Project API. We have required this API and during learning every new things, there is the documentation. This is the best source to learn. Here is the step by step process how you can learn, how you can fetch data, insert data, update data, delete data, authentication part is here and real time database storage. If you have really interested to learn, read this documentation first. You can easily understand every type of tutorial or you didn't need to was the tutorial anymore if you have read documentation carefully after we have successfully created this all the project we have required this project url and api key let's go to the project here and let's make it async widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize after that we have required a flutter superbase package just press command shift p on the mac and control shift p on the windows and if you have never add the package then source aid package you have already used this way then already in the add dependency section here just click on and superbase flutter we have required this package next thing that is we have initialized the superbase here just make it await in superbase.initialize inside this superbase we have required the two parameter that is url and next is anon key let's copy this two key from here this is the project url just copy it and paste it here and this is the api key use your own api key I'll delete this project after the some time then it will not work for your case it is the simple process just create the project and use your own api key after that we have run our flutter project here during this time we have created the table here in firebase there is the collection but in superbase there is a table just click on table here and create the new table and just give the name of your table i'll give my table name as sample i'll disable this because i am just creating the sample project and just enable the real time there is id and created it these two column is already there i'll just add one column which is name and choose the data type as a text and i'll make it null and just save it that's it superbase is super easy as compared to the firebase this is the first time i'll run this project that's why you take some time our app is perfectly working you can see superbase initialization completed now the sample project clicking on this floating action button i have add something and store them in the superbase and display it here i'll not waste your too much time we are going to create the one complete project during this time we have learned too much 
I'll copy the code from the chat GPT. Okay. Copy this code from here. I'll remove my home page and I'll paste it here. And next things that is I'll remove this and I'll just call the this sample page. Okay. Okay. And I'll restart this. Let's see the terminal. Mm, okay. Perfect. Everything is perfect. This is the Superbase instance and this is the dynamic list where this is the name of our table. Let's see it will match or not. Just perfect. And the name that we have give this. This is the code for aid sample data and this is the code for face sample data. If you have just click this icon. Okay, you can see sample. This is the sample name and this is the data. If you have click again, click it. The new data will be here with current date and time. And if you refresh the Superbase database here, there is the two sample data is here. By this way, you can easily set up your Flutter project with Superbase without any error. I have not coded it because I will demonstrate you the sample project and this is the quite simple as well. That's why I will copy this all code from the AI and paste it here. By this way, you can interact with the Superbase. In upcoming project, we have also launched the authentication section, real-time database, storage, and we have also launched create the one complete project using the Superbase. Okay, bye-bye.